The next one up and our last one in the 1 p.m. time slot is the Kansas City Chiefs going to Philadelphia. And, brother, they are a nine-point favorite at the Eagles. 54.5 is the total. Again, odds brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. Sign up using the promo code NCAAF2021. Get a 125% deposit bonus. The link is down in the description. And the Chiefs, of course, have lost two straight. I feel like they might come out and and just throw the ball all over the field on the Eagles because the Eagles have shown me that I don't know that they can really stop anybody, right? The, the 49ers only scored 17 on them. That was in Philly. And this one also in Philly, but the 49ers don't have the same weapons. They run a completely different scheme. I, I think, like Andy Reid, by the way, out of the hospital, uh, he was treated for dehydration. So he's going to be fine. He's going to be back. No big deal. I... I think the Chiefs might just be super pissed off right now because they have lost two close ball games. Their defense is not great, but their offense can still get it going. They can cook, and I think they are going to cook on this Eagles defense. I mean, we just saw the Cowboys do it, and the Cowboys offensively, it's somewhat similar to what the Chiefs run. So I will absolutely take the Chiefs in this spot. I think they're going to throw the ball all over the yard here. Uh, give me give me the Chiefs minus nine. Like, it's, it's a big number, but... I think they're absolutely going to cover it. So I'm going to take uh, the uh, the Eagles here. <clears throat> it's too big of a number. My my problem is this: I don't have any logic. I don't have any reasoning. The Eagles look bad. The Chiefs look weird. It's simply I'm going to bet against the Chiefs until the Chiefs cover a number. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing that. But is because it the one in twelve I, in their last thirteen? There were right? one in twelve going in the last week. So now they're one in thirteen now covering the line and at some point in time they're going to cover a game but you know what they have a hard time stopping the run you know what the eagles do pretty damn well they run run. the football (laughs) they can't throw the ball Jalen can't throw the ball at all but he is not going to have to just run keep patrick on the sideline keep patrick on the other side of the field getting frustrated chew up clock control the line of scrimmage and run the football down their throat and you don't have to win the game. You just don't have to get blown out. Yeah. Bet US, by the way, is the only book on the planet that I've seen this number at. It is still nine there. Every other sports book in the world is seven. Is seven? Seven. Wow. Okay. So if, if you like the Chiefs, well, you better I'm get a seven. I'm seven and seven and a half. I, so if uh, if you want a seven, you got to go elsewhere. But if you, if you like the Eagles, that nine... Pretty tasty. Right. Uh, even at nine, right. I still like the Chiefs here. But we will uh, we will go head to head on that one. So we got we got two games that we're going head to head on so far. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G Anini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.